Number one is one almost natural effect of workers being more rested. So workers that are more rested, they naturally work better in the other days. They are more creative, they make fewer mistakes. Uh, the association between uh, hours of work and accidents and injuries or um, uh, errors, it's really well documented with nurses, doctors, uh, police, uh, occupational in injuries. So there is just one kind of natural effect. But uh, this is really not, not enough. So it's not just because people uh, are, are more rested in the other days that suddenly you can produce in four days what you are now producing in, uh, in five. But it's, it's a start. Now, the second very important is that the four-day week is not, as a management practice is not just working the same way and leaving one day before. Uh, it involves changing the way the firm is organized, the processes within the firm. So a lot of emphasis when you do the pre-pilot phase, when you start preparing the, the change, is this, um, the design, the changes in processes that have to occur inside the firm uh, to make it more uh, workers and the firm itself more productive in the other, uh, in the other days. And this is, um, this is the, uh, the key. So in practice, what, what do firms do? Uh, number one in the list is shortening meetings to uh, half an hour, having a really very well set pattern uh, about why you have a meeting and uh, who is in the meeting. Um, uh, and shorten the, the, the time. Uh, sometimes it's adopting technology. Uh, so uh, a chain, uh, a restaurant chain in, 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 in Spain, in Madrid, uh, they, they implemented a four-day week. They didn't have to hire any staff, but they did changes. Uh, for example, people started ordering and paying via WhatsApp and then via an app uh, to speed up uh, the ordering and the, and the payment. So it would speed up the the, uh, the process for the, the waiters. They also changed the menu uh, in the restaurant to make it faster, uh, so you wouldn't have to, hi to hire more, more, more cooks. Uh, automating certain processes. Uh, another one that's very popular in, in, in many consultants, all these uh, kind of services, is creating blocks of work. A lot of the time wasted uh, is time wasted in interruptions. Uh, in checking the email and someone coming. So a lot of the companies do create blocks of work for teamwork, blocks for individual work where no one in the company interrupts anyone, uh, blocks for, for emails. And sometimes they change the physical space itself uh, to make it uh, more uh, productive. So in the case of restaurants, altering the profile of tables so you shorten the time for waiters to go, to co to go and come back. Um, does anyone have a question in this? There, there is uh, uh, a natural question that comes. So my question is, why would you not do that in May and become productive and then still keep the five one days and be more productive? Exactly. So when we talk about a four-day week, uh, that's the precisely the question. I, uh, so the, uh, the, the movement, uh, when we talk about the, the management practice, talks about the 180-100 rule. You work, uh, you get 100% of pay, the workers. They work 80% of time, as long as they uh, provide 100% of productivity. So the focus is on productivity um, um, and how we can increase uh, compet uh, competitiveness of the, the, the company and the productivity in the other days. Now, if all these changes of processes, uh, why don't we do a 100, 100, 120 rule? You pay 100% of the wage, you work 100% of the time, and you get 120%. So the, the question, or the, my answer, is that to do this is not easy. To change the way the company works, it's not easy. Uh, and very often, the workers are themselves a force uh, of blocking. You, are, you have all your workers, 40-hour uh, weeks, uh, some on the verge of burnout, and then you come, oh, we are going to introduce a new software, or we have to redesign the, the workspace, or you have to start automating some Excel spreadsheets. Uh, and you say, oh, I'll save time, but the time would be to work even more. So all these changes are very hard to do um, just naturally. And very often, it's only when a company is on the ropes 
No, it's really going through difficulties that people come together and say, we really have to change the way we work. Now here, this is one of the biggest advantage, is that you have everyone working to make it, uh, to make it work. So when you, when you do this, all, all these decisions, a lot of these changes are done by the workers themselves. And they'll actively participate in the change because they know it's coming for um, uh, the, the, you know, the benefit, the ultimate benefit is, is for them. So here you'll count uh, so some, uh, some entrepreneurs that implemented it for the week, they say it's the best team building exercise that you could get. Uh, because it puts everyone in the company working for the, uh, the same direction. So this is one of, of the answers. Now the second answer um, is, um, uh, is a, an historical uh, episode from, from Henry Ford. So before he implemented the, the five-day week in uh, 1913, he implemented the assembly line. So his objective was always to produce more cars, the cheapest possible. And he did this, break, this big change uh, It was new in the car industry was the assembly line. And when he introduced, the productivity went up from 0 0.7 cars per worker to 1.1. So a very large increase in productivity, but he thought this should be much better. This is, has much more potential. We should have gotten much bigger gains. And he asked for a study. And what's the problem? Is it the machines? Is it the organization? Uh, and it turns out it wasn't any of them. It was workers themselves. So workers, they had a 10% absenteeism rate every day. So every day, 10% of workers wouldn't show up to the job. And a rotation of workers of 370% a year, that means the workers wouldn't stay longer than three months in his factories. Why? Because, so he was doing all this, uh, but uh, what he learned is that you can't uh, have all these processes to in, in improve productivity without thinking of the workers. Because all these processes intensify the work. They make it more intensive. Uh, and then why would a worker that receives the same wage stay in his factories where the f uh, Cadillac or Chrysler's factory next, next door uh, pays the same? and the work is much lighter. Uh, and then he couldn't get productivity gains when every, all workers are just constantly leaving the company. Uh, you can't get a team together, they can't learn uh, properly because when they learn, they are, already, uh, they are already out. And it was in that moment, immediately, he said, we are going to do uh, the $5 day, um, which was a doubling of the wage in the industry. Um, and he did it not because uh, you know, he was a charity. He, uh, he did it because he wanted to retain staff and he wanted them to come and uh, not, not skip work because that's the, the, the assembly line required a lot of discipline in work. Um, ten years later, he thought more, better than increasing the wages is to give a five-day week because you'll have a benefit of their com the workers coming more rested in the other days. Um, so instead of increasing the wages, you give them more free time uh, and they will be better, uh, better, better workers. So uh, this part is, uh, is, is very important. And if you are a company thinking about the four day week, uh, it should all be uh, about this, how you can design, uh, change the processes to, uh, to improve uh, the work on the other, the other, uh, yeah, so. Um, now, the third, uh, the third point that's very important to firms is that when we talk about productivity, we're always thinking about the work producing more things. But productivity is actually sales minus intermediate costs, other costs for firms. And a lot uh, of what firms verify is that there's a lot of benefits in terms of reduction of other costs. And this could be if you do close on Friday, uh, this could be a reduction in the energy bill that's particularly uh, relevant in the, in the current economic situations. Uh, there is one of the statistics that always um, improves in firms is absenteeism. So workers, uh, uh, they take fewer sick days, they are sick less often, um, and they also, uh, either because of physical or mental illnesses, 
uh, burnout stress or just having you know physical uh, uh, physical problems but also because of the life admin if they have to take the kids to the doctor or if themselves have to go to uh, renew the passport or doing uh, and they always use that day that day off so the reduction in absentee of absenteeism let's think about uh, in a care home uh, care homes that implemented the four-day week they, they saw that uh, because of absenteeism rates went down, they didn't have to hire so many agency staff to cover shifts or pay extra to workers. So this uh, reduced a lot other, other costs. So recruitment costs and training, uh, they, they go down precisely because no one wants to leave the company. Uh, instead of, which a lot of companies are facing right now, this shortage of talent, shortage of workers. The workers are, are there. Um, they, uh, uh, when you, uh, the, the companies that implement a four-day week, uh, they see workers exiting less, and it's, they, they see this improvement in, uh, in uh, recruitment of, of workers. But what, what does it mean? When the turnover of workers is very high, it means you have to train them. Uh, many times it's costly, either in financial terms or in terms of time of managers to teach them uh, how to do their, uh, their, uh, their job. So this is one element that instantly improves. Uh, errors and, and accidents. In factories, when people are tired, they make errors. When you are producing something, this means that it's a defective piece. The higher you are in the chain of value, uh, it's, it means that a defective piece is very costly because it's material that goes, uh, that's, that's wasted. Um, uh, also, work accidents uh, and insurance premium on, on the, that you pay for accidents at work. Uh, a lot of companies uh, do genuinely care for workers and they have a lot of mental health initiatives and they, they, they spend money. The four-day week is the initiative to improve mental health in their, work, uh, in their workspace. All, these, all the pilots uh, in ev everywhere it's uh, one of the things, stress, uh, burnout comes, comes down, and I think that's pretty much uh, natural. Um, and other type of worker benefits. So what firms uh, see when they implement, they, they see these other gains, uh, reduction in other costs. And if you read uh, the, Hanley, uh, the Hanley Business School published a white paper on the four-day week, the result of a big survey, before and after the pandemic on firms that are already uh, doing the four-day week, and uh, they account, um, uh, they count uh, all these savings that firms have outweigh the costs of a four-day week might have for companies. And in, in some industries, you might have to hire more workers. Uh, if, you, uh, if you have a care home or a, a restaurant, most likely you do have to hire more workers, so you'll spend more but then you'll also save on many, uh, uh, on many things, and they found that the savings outweigh the, the, the extra costs for firms. And then the fourth element, and this has been one of the most important with the firms in Portugal that, that, uh, that came to our sessions, um, is this, uh, uh, the problem with the, the shortage of workers, of talent. It's very hard to recruit talent, um, especially startups, new, uh, all the tech, the tech industries, but also in restaurants. So it's, it's, uh, it's been hard to recruit uh, workers. And this is uh, uh, their, what they worry, and this is one of the elements that uh, improves a lot with the four-day week. Um, the, in, there was a, a bank, a digital bank in the UK, Atom Bank, that moved to a four-day week, and they saw a 500% increase in applications uh, soon, soon after, a few, a few weeks after. Um, and here, the view for companies, uh, they, they, it's, uh, you have to view it as an alternative to wage increases. So uh, this is from this pilot in the US, Ireland, uh, Australia, and, and New Zealand, and by Four Day Week Global. And they ask the, the workers in, in the survey, if you were offered a five-day week job, how much of a salary increase would it take for you to accept and move out of the company for a five-day job? 40% said between 10 and 25. Um, uh, sorry, 28%. 42% said uh, between 25 to 50% wage increases. 13% said 
more than 50% wage increase for me to go out. Uh, and 13% said no amount of money. So whether uh, you want it or not, whether you like it or not, uh, there was a cultural change of the perception of work-life balance that happened after the pandemic, especially with the younger generation. And the firms that can understand that, uh, so this change, this change in cultural values, put more value, people give more value now to their to free time. And the firms that actually understand that and use that uh, will have a huge uh, gain in competitiveness in the labor market. Um, so firms, uh, this is one reason why the four day week is becoming popular in small and medium firms, because they use it as a way um, to compete with larger firms that pay higher wages. Uh, so higher firms, uh, bigger firms pay higher wages, they have more cap financial capacity and very often the small medium companies don't have. And what's the alternative? They'll give something unique that's valued by workers that large companies don't, don't give, uh, which is a four-day uh, four week. So if you can only pay 2,000 workers, 2,000 pounds to your workers, you, uh, you, but you give a four-day week, uh, you might be competing with someone, uh, another firm that's paying 3,000 uh, 3, pounds for the, uh, for the workers. So you can get better, uh, better workers in the, in the labor market. Um, so these, um, these are uh, the, main, the main benefits, if I can tell you. We asked companies why are they interested in a project. Most of them is about uh, worries about stress and burnout of, of workers, about retention of, of staff and the recruitment of, uh, of, of talent. Uh, a lot is, uh, um, this is why companies are looking at this. And uh, you see a huge interest from uh, HR directors uh, it's for larger firms, usually the, the, the administration and the CEOs are a bit more uh, skeptical, um, to, say, uh, to, to say the least. But um, this is why when you put everything together, that's why firms say, it's, you, know, you know what, it works better for, uh, for my business.